Hello everyone, it's Peter, your personal face exercise coach from Face Aerobics. Today I'm going to be doing an update on the eye exercise for Series 3. So I hope you can join me, but first, please do remember to subscribe to the channel because when you subscribe to the channel, you get all these great updates. Okay, so go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and you will be notified every time I upload a video. Okay, so I exercise series three, let's do it. Hello everybody, thanks again for coming by, I really do appreciate it. Today we're going to update the eye exercise for series three. Now there's been a lot of confusion in this exercise because then in the original exercise there were sort of two parts to it. But this exercise is really the way to do it. And I would like you all, if you are doing the uh, exercise along with me, if you're following along with that, I would like you to see you do the exercise this way from now on. So basically what we're doing is we're using our two fingers, we're placing them on the sides of our um, eyes. Now our finger goes right into the socket like this and then our other finger is holding tightly. Okay, so you, you're isolating, it's sort of like where the eye socket is, you lay your finger either side of it and then the, the four fingers you're isolating very firmly. Now you push up very gently, not not too much because if you push too much then you'll start stretching the skin and if you stretch the skin in that area you'll be in a whole world of pain because it doesn't go back to where it was. So just push up very slightly. Now when you're squinting your eyes all I want you to do is to squint. Okay? It's really easy. You're just squinting. Now when you're learning this exercise, a lot of people, they actually don't know how to squint their eyes. But when you're doing it, and when you're doing any sort of facial exercises, because the expressions of our face is connected to our emotions, sometimes if you can't get the exercise right, put a bit of emotion behind it and you'll find that it'll start working. So a lot of times I say to people, when you're doing this exercise, sort of look like you're saying to somebody, are you kidding me? Really? Okay, you watch the difference in my eyes. Really? Okay, so what I'm doing is squinting as I'm doing it. Now I've always naturally squinted because I, I wear glasses actually, and I've always naturally squinted because I haven't had good eyesight, so I've always sort of squinted my way through life. So for me it's been easy, and uh, I've always known how to do it. But when you're doing it, just try to put a bit of emotion behind it, like you're, you know, like, are you kidding me? that sort of thing because naturally your eyes start to squint. Okay, so let's try this again. So where my fingers are placed, you know, have a look very, very, you know, closely at where my fingers are placed. And these fingers, my four fingers, are holding very, very firmly. Okay, so what this is doing, this exercise is helping the sides of here and especially just under in this area here. So what's happening here when you're holding this here? It actually on the upper cheek, it's still the orbicularis oculi, it's still that big muscle, but you're isolating that area, okay? So this is what you're doing, you're actually isolating as well with your, your finger, your, your middle finger. So you can see how I'm doing this, okay? And then you're holding it firmly with your four fingers. So it's a really it's a really good exercise this one and what it's doing is helping you get used to moving your eye muscles as well and each series builds upon the next with your eye exercises okay and each time we do the eye exercises in each series they are subtly different and working areas that are subtly different in the same muscle and that's what the amazing thing about this program is is that through isolating the muscles you are able to press or you're able to hold a muscle in a way that the other one can move and because all the muscles are connected and you can't stop one muscle from moving when you lift your eyes for instance or when you smile or whatever, this way if you isolate certain muscles it will stop other muscles from moving and you can just work on one particular muscle. You can't do it with every one of them but with the press and plat 
can't say that, but with the press and plant technique, with the press and plant technique, I got it. You can actually do that. And this is something that is quite miraculous with uh, facial exercises. Okay, so we'll try it once more. And as I say, this is how I want you guys to do this exercise from now on. Now, as you can see, I'm not squeezing, I'm not causing wrinkles here when I'm doing it. All I'm doing is moving the orbicularis oculi on the side. I'm not moving it in the middle. I'm able to isolate it just to the side. And this is what you'll be able to do. So in effect, what we're doing is putting it in half. We're exercising one half and the rest of it is just resting and allowing not to be moved. Guys, I really hope that's helped you today with that exercise. I know there has been some confusion uh, with it, but I hope that has clarified it now. Please do remember to make a comment in, in the comment box below, ask a question, make a comment, or just go ahead and like the video. I really even appreciate that. All right, well, you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you next time. Bye.